Hi. Hi. It's me and Pam. Hi, everybody. And Pam, for those of you who don't know Pam Rapp, she is my upline. She is the one who got me started in doTERRA, and I think you're happy for that, right? I bet everybody is. I sure am. <laughs> I, I would be. I absolutely am so thrilled every time that, that I know that I hear... Kathy talking and all everybody says, Oh, I love it when Kathy talks. She knows so much. She's she makes it fun. She makes the hard stuff fun. But here's the deal. Pam helps me make the hard stuff fun. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna talk to you about cellular health today. And this can be a hard subject. I mean, really, we're talking about our body is made up of a hundred trillion cells. Some of us have more than 100 trillion cells. Don't need to tell you who you are. Some of us have less than 100 trillion cells, right? But what's really important is all 100 trillion of these cells. And I like to say this, we need to work as a well-oiled machine. Get it? Yeah. Even at the cellular level, we need to, every one of our cells is like a little city and we need to work as a well-oiled cell. So, Pam, what have you learned over the years of your being in doTERRA about how important cellular health is? Well, honestly, even before that, you, you know that your basic health starts at a cellular level. If your cells aren't operating properly, you're not going to get the good nutrition. You're not going to have your, your organs functioning properly. Your brain's not going to function properly. And that all starts at the very cellular level. Now, using... Working with essential oils and with doTERRA products, I have learned that the LLV is the building blocks, the lifelong yep, vitality pack. Lifelong vitality, absolutely. So tell us about some building blocks of lifelong vitality. Well, we, you know, we will just mention the vitamins and minerals, and we can mention the, the omega oils, which are really kind of a different um, talk, I would imagine. But the Alpha CRS is really... The energy where you're going to get, it's the cellular Alpha. vitality complex. And that Alpha really... CRS. Yeah, cellular vitality complex. Look, it's written right there on the bottle, right? Yes. And that's going to uh, feed your mitochondria of your cell. What is the mitochondria? Miss Science oh Lady. I love, talking about, I love talking about mitochondria. <laughs> they are the cutest little guys. They're just... You know, I, I, I like to um, liken mitochondria to like this your cell phone battery. So when you, when you have your cell phone all charged up, right, and you see it, it's full on there, and then you use your cell phone and, you know, you're, it, it keeps going down and down and down, that's like your mitochondria. So they recharge and use that energy at the cellular level, and when it gets low, we know it, right? Our brain doesn't work right. And, and guess what the mitochondria works on? Do you know, do you know Pam, what makes what mitochondria work? Well, it's the energy cell. It's the energy of your cells. But it makes your energy, but what does it make it from? Just like the air? No. It makes it from sugar and oxygen. So sugar's okay. Well, at a certain level. Okay, I, I like how you went there, but no. Um, so we have to have the right amount of sugar, but we also have to have the right amount of oxygen. So there's another product called Mito2. Get that? Mito2 max. So O2 stands for oxygen. So what your Mito2 max does at the cellular level, just like your CRS, they're, they're similar but different products. Um, this one's very good for athletes and people who really need to, that afternoon boost. So when we have the afternoon boost, one of the things we want to do is have sugar, right? Because bam, that's going to boost us up, but it's also going to drop Make us. Make you really crash. Quickly. Yep. We can crash. So the other way we can increase oxygen or increase energy in the body is by getting more oxygen. So that's why when you take a walk, you're going to wake up. You're going to take deep breaths. You're going to wake up more. Well, this actually helps to increase the oxygen content in the body and help you to wake up naturally with no stimulants. So good one to know about. So peppermint kind of does that too, right? It does. Peppermint kind of helps you to intake and utilize more oxygen, right? It so. does. So whether you use it internally or whether, you know, drink it in your water or smell it in, it actually, don't you just want to take, when you smell peppermint, don't you just want to take a deep breath? Yeah, right? except, yeah, that's right. It's an awesome one. So another one that we can talk about is DDR Prime, right? DDR Prime. Right. 
right? So DDR prime forever and ever. I did, had no idea what DDR prime stood for. I thought it was some cryptic thing that doTERRA came up with. But Pam, let me put you on the spot. Do you know what DDR stands for? Yes, I do. It's uh, something about detox. Oh, I do know what it is. I can't remember. Yeah, I'm sorry. I put you on the spot. Let's just get this over with and get you out of your misery. It stands for DNA Damage Repair. Yes, Damage Repair. Yeah. DNA Damage Repair. So why would repairing our DNA be important? I need to be taking more of that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so why is repairing the DNA important? Well, the DNA is the actual real building blocks of of our entire system, our entire body, right? Really, of who we are. Yeah, right? yeah. So if if our DNA has just a little tiny bit of a, you know damage in it then it's going to replicate damage correct and so yep. then you're just going to have more and more damage occurring so if we can get in there and help support our system to be able to fix that now the ddr prime does not fix it right exactly so what the ddr prime does and and we can't say that any of these things cure treat or prevent anything okay so what we say is that they support the body and what the body is already supposed to be doing and um, what what um, DDR does is it's full of, tell us, in fact, I think you have the list there of what's in DDR. First ingredient is frankincense. And then we've got orange and litsia, lemongrass, thyme, summer savory, clove, and nioli. Right. So what these oils do is they help um, not only so 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 when your your body has a natural system your it's part of your immune system that increases apoptosis in the body which is um getting rid of dead and dying cells or cells that are not acting correctly in the body so what this ddr prime does is number one it helps to increase the um the depth of those cells that are not acting correctly and number two it tries to repair the DNA, um, the sequences that are damaged. If it, if, if these processes with the essential oils and your body um, working as it's supposed to cannot repair the DNA, it will kill the cell. And that's what we want, right? Because we don't want that replicating, that bad cell replicating. So you guys, I will not be without my DDR prime. And as Pam just alluded to, it also is very, very good for brain health. Just saying. <laughs> that's right. Very good. Okay, so our cells are the building blocks of who we are. There's a hundred trillion of them that make you up. And if one of them is not acting correctly, our body can get really out of whack. Now, this might not be something that you know the answer to. You might have, but isn't it true that even though we have one trillion cells in our body, a drop of essential oil will put 40 molecules on each cell of our body? One drop. Exactly. And one drop. And, and so there are so many molecules in one drop of essential oil that it can cover, not that it does, but if it were to touch every single cell in your body, you could have 40 molecules just by putting it on the bottom of your feet, 40 molecules in every cell in your body. Now, it won't do that, um, theoretically, it could, but it won't do that because Essential oils are targeted to hit certain certain places in our body that need that particular molecule. They just don't go willy nilly throughout our whole body. Our toe may not need what our liver needs, right? right? So the so liver's gonna uptake those molecules that it needs, right. and it, it's it's a pretty intelligent process, right? Actually. Because it's looking for imbalance, and so where it finds imbalance, it helps your body to bring balance. And if there's right. already balance there, it's gonna go on by. Right. So at the cellular level, which we can't see, and a lot of times we ignore because we can't see it, but we can feel it when we start to feel off, when we start to feel fatigued, when we have digestive issues, when we have brain fog, um, when we're just not right. And, and we all know what that means. We're just like, I just don't feel my best today. It's something going on at the cellular level and we need to pay attention to it. And that, that also speaks to the truth of if one drop is good, 10 drops are better. That's not true. 
That is not true, especially all at one time. Right. Okay. So over time, yes, because many essential oils are processed through the body in 60 to 90 minutes. So what that means is the, the greatest value of those essential oils is processed through the liver and into your circulatory system within about an hour and a half. Now, a lot of pharmaceutical um, uh, uh, medications on the market are 48 to sometimes a week out before they are processed through the body and eliminated. So what that means is small amounts of essential oils over time is way better than using a whole bunch of essential oils once because your body's just going to eliminate what it can't use anyway. Right. So thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> I knew the answer to that one. That's awesome. That's because you're smart. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, but here's here's what I do know is smart. Get yourself some frankincense. Yes. And get yourself a dropper on your frankincense and put two drops of frankincense under your tongue, which most of you know is called a sublingual effect. That frankincense now is already in my circulatory system. Mm -hmm. It already is working and is, is circulating through my body. That is the fastest mode of operation um, internally to use essential oils to get them working quickly in the body. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, cool. You going to do that with oregano? I will not. <laughs> Good. I also will not do it with clove. No, no. I could. Um, I could. Um, but it, for me, it's, it's just hot. Mm -hmm. um, but clove is the highest form of antioxidants mm -hmm. on the planet, clove yes. oil. Yeah. Um, there are um, there is as much antioxidants in one drop of clove oil as there is in 28 pints of blueberries. Yeah, 28 so pints. What's that? 28 pints. 20. 28 pints. That's a lot. That's a lot of blueberries. That is a lot. All right, my friends. Um, so what we are saying here, what Pam and I are telling you is that your essential oils will help at the cellular level, help your body do what it's already supposed to do naturally. It aids in those natural, amazing, wonderful processes. Is that right, Pam? That's right. That's right. It it helps. It, it gives your body the tools it needs to do what God created it to do. Amen. Amen. And on that note... We thank you guys for joining us. We hope you learned a lot. And please, if you need any more information, have any more questions, please put it in the comments below this video. We don't know the answer. We'll try to find it for you, okay? Yep. Love okay. you. All right. Pam and Kathy out. Bye, guys. Bye.